Hi kids and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today we're going to get started on our pixel art unit and this is a fun little unit. I, I just wanted to give you some uh, basics of how to move around and how to color your pixels and how to get started. So in the first video I showed you um, directions and what you'll be doing but now I wanted to take a step back and walk you through the actual pi pixels themselves. So on your screen, you can see that I have, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So on your screen, you can see I have my pixels set up with different colors based on the letter that they are below. So the A, for example, is going to give you black. B will give you red. C will give you orange. D will give you yellow and so on and so forth. So you're going to use this color key to make your pixel art. Now you have a limited number of colors, so it doesn't have to be exact. And also pixel art is kind of blocky in nature, so it's not gonna be an exact picture. But what you do to get started is you choose a square, and um, if you want black, you type the letter A in, but not just A, you have to hit enter. And then it turns the square black, just like that. And again, if I want red, I'm gonna type the letter B and hit enter, and I have red. Also, you notice that I am moving my square around without the mouse. So this is my favorite way to do pixel art is to use the arrow up, down, left, and right keys to move my cell selection around the sheet. So you can use those arrows to move around. You can also use them to hit in place of the enter button. So for example, if I want that pretty blue, I'm gonna type F, but instead of hitting enter, I'm just going to hit the arrow left button and you see it does the same thing it doesn't enter. So seven, arrow left, oops, seven, I did seven. I meant J, arrow left. So you'll see that you can type in letters and just move your mouse and it works up and down, left and right. So either way you wanna do it. This also is very helpful when you have a large selection of um, cells that you want to color in and you wanna be quick about it. So you can type the letter A and then spam A and arrow over. Watch, watch what I do. So you can kind of spam them and then they will color in and it's kind of quick to fill in a large selection. So you can do, here I'm doing B. So uh, this is just a quick little how to get started on your pixel art. So I hope you enjoy this unit. It's a lot of fun. I always had fun doing pixel art when I was a kid. I'll also tell you a little bit about how the pixel art template works. It's called conditional formatting. And what I have done is I have created some conditional formats for every cell, for all of these cells in the pixel art. And each rule is put in separately. And for example, I'll open this one up. The black, the conditional format rule is when the text contains the letter A, your background is black and your text color is black. And with those two things set, your letter A disappears. When you, when you hit enter, the letter A turns black and it blends in with the background. And so I have done the same thing for every single other color. For example, the red, every text that contains the letter B turns red background and the red font color. And when I type the letter B, poof, both things turn red and they disappear and your pixel turns red. I hope you enjoy. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.